have bad weather, you want it uh, not only convenient, you want it safe. Churches around the metro had to make some tough calls on Sunday morning. How do you balance people's safety with serving their spiritual needs? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Good morning. But you kind of have to have a plan. And so we started talking about that plan, but nothing expedites the process like the weather. <laughs> First Baptist Church in Raytown usually offers several service times and broadcasts those services online on the website. The online live stream is popular with young families. Because it's, you know, difficult, a lot of things to get ready to get your children ready to go. And sometimes they're not really ready to come. And uh, so they will watch it online and then maybe come to our five o'clock service. So with snow and ice covered roads, they cut back to one service. They scheduled it for later in the morning. That way crews could clear more of the roads and their own crews, mostly volunteers, could clear their parking lot. They just, they become an army and they get it done. Then they braced themselves in case no one showed up. We were prepared to, you know, just have uh, those of us on the platform uh, to produce a service for the webcast, but a lot of people came. In fact, in the end, almost a thousand people came. So what makes people love a church so much that they brave icy roads or bad weather to get here? Members told us they liked the diversity, the message, the long history at this church, but two things stood out most. And I love the, the congregation. We have some loving people in the congregation, and I just, I just enjoy the church here. And the people here, they're loving and, and uh, open and warm, and I just like the whole atmosphere. And they see the choice to show up as a way to live out the lessons they learn here. Uh, if you can go to work and do everything else you need to do and go shopping, why can't you come out and go to church and worship the Lord? So that's a beautiful thing. Lauren Halifax, Fox 4 News, working for you in Raytown. All right, Lauren, thank you.